Good afternoon everybody, happy Sunday. Today I'm going to do a maternity haul which will be spring and summer focused although I am going away in June and July so I will do a more holiday focused haul nearer the time. Like I said today is going to be spring and summer although I do have a couple of pairs of trousers because I feel like they have been a staple in my wardrobe over the past couple of weeks. What I'm also going to try and do today is just show you some of the tips and things that I've been doing to keep the money spending down when I've been buying things because if you're anything like me and you don't know if you're ever going to be pregnant again or you just don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes that you're only going to wear for four months then okay maybe you know sometime after birth as well but still it's still a relatively short period of time then uh, there's a couple of things that I've done that have just enabled me to keep the budget down especially when we've got so many other things to pay for right now my first tip is if you're not too much of a snob let's be real and you're not really bothered where you're getting your clothes from as long as they're good quality etc then I really recommend having a look at local charity shops my friend runs a charity shop near me and uh, last week dropped off a bag of clothes for me everything was my size uh, some things I gave back to her just because it wasn't my style but I've now ended up with one two three she's given me three pairs of maternity jeans and I already had two so I've now got five pairs of maternity jeans which, which is absolutely ridiculous but three of them I got for absolutely nothing at all so thanks so much Alison she's also given me a couple of dresses which I will show you on the video the first item of clothing that I wanted to show you was these new look maternity super skinny UK size 10 jeans um, these are like a quite a royal blue colour and as the label says they're really skinny these fit lovely now in terms of sizing I have a size 8 or 10 in normal trousers when I'm not pregnant so for maternity I have just been buying size 8 and 10 clothes but maternity specific if you want to buy an outfit that's not for maternity then just go up a size I've got a couple of dresses which I've got which I've just bought in a size 12 and they just give that extra space to go over your bump etc so I've got these jeans which I'll just try on now from your lips you just took for granted that I want them skinny the second pair of jeans that Alison donated to me again were from New Look these are New Look Maternity Emily jeans these are a UK A and these are specifically under the bump now I don't know how I feel about under the bump ones you can see that the the band on the New Look ones is a lot shorter these I, I had these on yesterday and they do I don't know if it's just because my bump isn't big enough yet but they just kept slipping down I think because I was trying to pull them over my bump which I've just realized after reading under the bump that was probably a mistake but yeah they kept slipping down so we'll see how we get on with those the other ones though the royal blue ones they fit perfectly so I'll just try these on for you now from your lips you just took for granted that I want them skinny deep the third pair of maternity jeans that I've got are from H&M um, I really recommend my, my two shops that I've been going to or I've been shopping at are New Look and H&M I feel like they have a real variety of things that you can buy like I've got some office gear from New Look are which are maternity and H&M are the same and the prices are really really reasonable these ones from H&M I've not actually tried on yet these again are a size 10 but you can see from H&M that their band around the waist is a lot bigger so that's to go straight over your bump now again these are just skinny style but these are just more of a denim 
wash as you can see so the next item of clothing is again from new look i bought these these were 15.99 and these are billy stripe pull-on trousers so they're like a khaki green they have stripe at the side which i love and they're tailored at the bottom and these I've bought to for the days that I go into the office. I think they'll be really comfortable. I tried them on and this bit is just a bit wider for your bump and they fit so nice. Again, they are a size 10. from Alison this is from George actually George Asda maternity and this I love these style tops how do you say it bottle I don't know but this I think will be really comfortable in summer it's really light it's really floaty and it's just going to be one of those things that I'll, I'll just be comfortable just to throw on with a pair of flip-flops. Take my hand and hit the floor and shake our bodies to the music maybe then you'll score So come on baby won't you show us some class Why do you have to move? The second dress, please excuse the makeup on this. This is the one I wore in my 20 week update video this again is a size 10 you can see it's got the knot that goes on the top of the bump and this bit just gives you a bit of extra space over your bump this is just above i can't remember now no this is this is a midi dress so it's got the long arms as well which just covers you up if it's not very warm and again this is a uk size 10 that was really comfortable when, when i wore it for the barbecue at the weekend oh this top but I would really recommend getting something like that again that you can just throw on with a pair of flip flops or trainers. Take my hand and hit the floor and shake our bodies to the music, maybe. Let your dress is another dress that was donated to me by Alison. This is a Rochelle Humes dress. I didn't even know she did clothing. I'm actually yet to try this on, but I think it's really pretty. I think this is something that I could wear in the office or I could wear it on a holiday or I could wear it in the UK. So I'm really pleased with this. Take my hand and hit the floor and shake our bodies to the music, maybe. Let your score. So come on, baby. Okay, another dress that I bought, which um, I did have a picture of on my instagram and i loved wearing it i was so comfortable in it but this is from pretty little thing this was literally about seven pounds or something because it was one of those discount days it wasn't expensive i think it i think it was like about 12 pounds and i got the discount on it but ridiculous ridiculously cheap now with this this isn't a maternity dress it's a midi length so i got a uk 12 and to be honest, I probably could have got away with a 10, but it just, like, my arms are, like, nice and loose. Like, I'm just not feeling, like, claustrophobic, and it's not too tight, basically, like a midi would normally be, I suppose. Um, and the extra space just, it just gives me extra space to go over my growing bump, but I really, really like that. I wore it with heels when we went for a meal, but I've also wore, wore it with my vans, just for kind of a dress down look. So come on baby, won't you show some class? Why do you have to move so? And the final, I hate this word, but final piece is again, it's uh, something that was donated from the to me from the uh, charity shop and this is a size 8 it's next maternity and it is a just a black midi stretchy skirt i think i will wear this so much t-shirts shirts 
best stops etc I just think I will wear this so much it looks so comfortable and I just think it will be really flattering I can wear it in the office as well I can wear it on holiday and I can wear it here in the UK so I really really like that and I think it will go with a lot of things Make sure you are comfortable in what you're wearing and you feel good. Don't buy something that's going to be too tight, it's going to be digging in and you're just going to be conscious all day. I think that's really important. My second tip is, if you don't mind shopping at charity shops, have a look at the charity shops. They quite often have the same brands that you would look at when you're buying maternity things. A lot of people that I've spoke to go to New Look, go to H&M, go to Next. So because that they're common stores for people to shop at, they will also be common in other people's wardrobes that are donating to charity shops. These things will have hardly been worn by the people that have wore them. Give them a wash and jobs are good in. The other tip is have a look on websites like Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, Misguided etc. You can get I mean midis are like my go to at the minute especially if I'm going out to see friends etc they're so comfortable they look nice and you can wear them with heels or with trainers or with flip flops but they are often really cheap on, on those kinds of sites they're always doing free next day delivery they're always doing discounts so I would definitely recommend looking um, at those types of dresses okay so that was my maternity haul I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found the tips useful and I shall see you all soon.